This is the moment Donald Trump officially became the Republican candidate for president. After amassing enough votes from state delegations. Not a surprise, but momentous. He has a very good chance of winning that election. And his running mate has been revealed as J.D. Vance, a young senator who was first elected just two years ago. J.D. Vance has been a very loyal lieutenant to Donald Trump throughout this campaign. The Ohio senator grew up in poverty and wrote a well-known book, Hillbilly Elegy, about his working class roots. He wasn't initially a Trump fan. And I know you've been asked about this before, about past comments that you've made about Donald Trump. Uh, you've said, I've never, I'm a never Trump guy, never liked him, terrible candidate, idiot if you voted for him. Now he's a complete convert, aggressively seeking to blame Joe Biden for Donald Trump being shot at, saying on social media, the central premise of the Biden campaign is that President Donald Trump is an authoritarian fascist who must be stopped at all costs. That rhetoric led directly to President Trump's attempted assassination. Trump, the survivor, says he's bringing a message of unity. And that's a dramatic change in tone from a man who's usually so pugnacious and belligerent. He's told a conservative newspaper he's completely rewritten his speech, saying it's a chance to bring the country together. I was given that chance. He wrote on his own social media site, it was God alone who prevented the unthinkable from happening, and that it's more important than ever that we stand united. The worst president in the history of our country. Donald Trump was only minutes into his speech to a campaign rally in Pennsylvania when the shots came. If you uh, want to really see something that said, take a look at what happened. <laughs> If he'd not turned his head at that precise moment, he would almost certainly have been killed. The bullet that grazed his ear can be seen streaking past in this picture. It was a very near-death experience. Then he instinctively demonstrated his defiance to the crowd. creating an iconic image that will now define the selection campaign. On social media, his supporters are claiming it was divine intervention that saved his life, calling it a miracle. He'll be greeted like a saint as well as a hero this week. My fellow Americans. President Biden gave a rare live address from the Oval Office last night, saying politicians can debate and disagree without it leading to physical attacks. We can't allow this violence to be normalized. You know, the political record in this country has gotten very heated. It's time to cool it down. We all have a responsibility to do that. If tomorrow of all the things were gone, I'd work for all my life. I love this land. Sing it! God bless the USA. From these delegates who are really devotees and believe he's now closer to victory than ever before. Sarah Smith, BBC News, Milwaukee, Wisconsin.